What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make an AI follow a waypoint path. It's going to be a very easy view to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is go into the content browser, right click and create a new blueprint class. In this case, let's create a new AI. So let's select the character. Let's call this something as BP underscore AI and open this up. Now, in this case, the tutorial isn't specifically on how to create AI characters. So it's going to be more focused on the actual waypoint system. Okay, so if I go quickly through this little section over here, just make sure to check out my proper AI tutorials, which I'll link in the description. With that said, let's go ahead and set up a basic AI system. So I'm going to just create a custom event, chase player, and simply do an AI move to over here. Okay. Now the pawn will be self because that's the AI that we're going to be moving. And then the target actor will be, well, the get player character. All right. So now this will essentially make the player move, well, not the player, the enemy AI. So if I go ahead and drag the enemy AI over here, we still need to add one thing, which is the mesh, because otherwise it will be invisible. <laughs> so with the mesh selected, let's go and add, for example, you know, many simple, just putting a blueprint asset, uh, just putting like an idle animation just for now, okay? And then put this on minus 89, and minus 90 so it's centered as you can see all right so with that done we need to add one very important thing to our level to make ai's move around so in the quickly add to the break section let's go to the volumes and drag a nav mesh bounce volume if we now make the lock and the skill 20 as you can see this fills in the whole level and if i press p we have this areas in green where the ai can walk so if I press play, as you can see, nothing happens. This is because in the event graph, we need to call chase player on the begin play because nothing was calling this, right? So now as you can see, the AI chases us. So everything is working. We have a simple AI to now implement the waypoint system. So if I sped through that, go ahead and check out my proper AI tutorial. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and begin the waypoint system. So in the content browser, let's right click and create a new blueprint class. And in this case, let's create an actor. This will be called something as BP underscore waypoint. Now with this new blueprint opened, let's go inside of the components and add a specific component, which is called billboard. This essentially adds a 3D icon into our blueprint. That way, when we drag it into our level, we can see it and it's just easier to move around. Okay, let's go ahead and just add for example, three little waypoints, and this will be the area's path, okay, where the AI will go through, all right? Cool. So with that done, we now need to go ahead and specify the specific waypoints that we want our AI to follow. So in our AI blueprint, let's create a new variable and call this waypoints, okay? Now let's go ahead and change this to be type of underscore waypoints and select object reference and then click this eye icon so it's publicly available, okay? So now if we select the AI in our level, in the data panel, we scroll down, you will see the waypoints variable. Now, as you can see, it only lets us select one. We want to select multiple of them. So going back to our AI with the variable waypoint selected, let's go to the data panel and set this type over here to array. Array is essentially a list. Now, as you can see, this updated and we can add multiple waypoints to our variable. So let's go ahead and click this pipette over here and select the first one, then the second one, and then the third. Okay, so we'll go pretty much in that order. Of course, we now need to implement the AI system so that it goes ahead and follows this wire points in that specific order. So let's go ahead and re rephrase this to follow wire point. And let's delete get player character. And now I'm going to simply get white points, get 
and then let's say get again and we can get a copy okay so we are getting a specific white point from our list the specific one will be determined by this index okay so as you can see each white point will have an index the first one will be zero the second one one and the third one two okay so with that in mind we can get the specific index to go into that specific white point so if i plug this over here and put in just a compile and save when you press play he will go to the first white point as you can see right now he went too fast so i'm also going to go to the character movement component go into the max walk speed which is here and put this to be around 350 okay so he walks properly and he doesn't like fly to the white points so with that set on success what we want to do is go into the next y point okay so what we want to do is right click on this index and create a variable and this will be the current y point okay so this is the specific y point that we want to go to so when we reach the new destination we're gonna go ahead and just add this y point by one okay that way we will go to the next y point and then we can simply go again follow y point and this loop will repeat until the end so i press play he will go to the first one to the second one then to the third one but then boom he breaks why well because we need to restart the loop so how can we do this well simply by checking here if the max amount of y points has been reached so once we add this new, you know, white point over here, we can add a branch and we can get the current amount of white points that we have selected. So let's just drag in length. And essentially, if current white point is essentially bigger than length, we want to go ahead and restart. So let's move this into false. And if we want to restart, let's set this to set current. To zero and then plug this in okay so basically we just added a little step over here where if we have reached the max amount of you know y points we will go back to the first one and then continue otherwise we just go straight and continue so now as you can see if we do this and he reaches the last y point he breaks because we are missing an important step okay this has to be a uh, bigger or equal okay otherwise he will not reach so let's simply just move this around this here okay the current weapon at the top the other one at the bottom and now if we do this once again it will go ahead and check for that one and then go ahead and continue with this and everything is going ahead and working if i would to you know put in more y points this would essentially just look a bit better but you know i think three is pretty cool let me delete this let me move this around to here now one thing that does improve a lot just the overall look of everything is to you stop the ai on a specific point so how can we do this well basically right before doing the follow y point we can simply do a little delay okay and that's it we can do a delay of like one second so he reaches one destination he stops for one second and then he goes to the next one then to the next one and then so on with a little break now in here in the character movement component let's enable orient rotation to movement and in defaults search for you on disable that that way his turns okay will be a bit smoother as you can see there we go it's just way smoother and last but not least we do need to add a walking animation to the enemy so let's right click create a new animation legacy blend space let's select sk mannequin open this up on the horizontal axis let's put in here speed uh, the max will be 350 and then the asset bowser let's search for idle put this on the left and then walk on the right now for hold left control move this around as the speed increases we will transition from idle to walk now i did speed through this section once again because this is just a little extra thing for the tutorial the main focus was the waypoints if you want to learn learn actually how to you know make the enemy ais with their own animations and so on once again you can check out my videos which i will link in the description okay so this was kind of extra that's why i went fast so with that said we can go back to the content browser right click create a new animation blueprint and select once again the sk mannequin or whatever mannequin you're using of course and then abp ai then what we can do is simply get this new blend space 
and drag it in into here. Then we can create a new variable called speed. And then we can simply get the owner, get the velocity, and then get the vector length. And then this will be the new speed. So uh, every frame, okay, in the update, or every tick, we will get the speed of our, of our, you know, AI and fit it in into our blend space. So now in here, if we go ahead, change this into animation blueprint and put in the AI, it will go ahead and properly move around, stop, and then continue moving, and then stop and all that stuff. Now on the when space, blend space, sorry, let's put in 10 on the weight. That way it will be this one, okay? There we go. Now we have a simple AI weapon system, which is working, as you can see, perfectly fine. And I did, again, go through uh, that part a bit fast, because you can check out my tutorial for this. But that's it, guys. Found this video helpful. I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you are serious about learning on Vue Engine 5, join my own Vue club to download the current files of the tutorial and everything like that. And now, yes, with all said, bye-bye.